Oxford ready, baby. Oh man. Check it. Oh, man. Oh, and champagne glasses. Yes. Where's the light switch? Uh, where's the. Oh, it's here. <laughs> you know, right outside the door. We have light. There's a big shower, babe. Uh, there's bloody right chocolate right surely these aren't free I don't know, mini, mini bar, bar. hold on right okay place your bets how much is a um rice cake <laughs> reasonable guess 290 doesn't say 195 i say i used to pay that at uni oh wow this is awesome. I mean, everyone loves a bit of Cots de Rana, Vin Bolbillion and organic wine. I, I love a bit of that, don't you? Yeah, it's my favourite. Yeah, and mine. Oh, no. <laughs> Which side of the bed do you want? Mm, by the toilet. You want by the toilet? Yeah, in case I'm sick. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> What's it, guys? Sean. No, no, I don't. Hang on, take two, take two. No. What's it, guys? Charlotte. Charlotte here. Welcome back to Charlotte TV. <laughs> but today. We're in Oxford. Absolutely. If anybody knows what this building actually is, please enlighten us. Yeah. The, the what? The Ratcliffe camera. The Ratcliffe camera? As in the camera? The camera. Are you sure it's called the camera? The camera. Are you positive? Yeah, Ratcliffe camera. I don't believe you, let me see. Mm, she wasn't lying. What do you mean you're not allowed to go in there? It says no visitors. Yeah, they're taking pictures in there. Caution, because these steps are in fact slippery when they're wet. So be careful of that.
I just put the Jags and the BMWs out. Mine, mine belongs downstairs. BMW, BMW, Range Rover, Jag, Jag, BM. This is by far the uh, poshest hotel we've ever stayed in. Yeah. Don't see that now. My sat nav? Yeah. It's okay, I'll do my sat nav. Chuck, chuck that moment, and I'm gonna say, I'm just get out of this guy's way first. Put my sat nav up in there. Shut up. You're so mean. Starting route to home. Head northwest on New Road. Never did explain to the people how close we were to everything. Should we do it now? Uh, yeah. Why do you not want to? That's slogan that is. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel. Oh. Oh, shut up, Siri, you d We've been having all kinds of issues with Siri on the channel lately, babe. It's like, Siri's a d you just got to remain calm and just keep, you know, d keep moving forwards. Okay? So the hotel was at the bottom of this pathway, right? And we thought, well, two, th two things that we love, Pizza Express. Prezzo. Well, yeah, Prezzo is one of them as well. And Slug and Lettuce. I'm just, just going to call it Slug. We had a look on the map, figured it would be a few minutes walk, you know, two, three minute walk, it said, right? Yeah. It was what? 40 meters from the front door of the hotel. Yeah, 100 yards, less than 100 yards from the front of the hotel. It was like, we, when we came out at the end of the night, I was warm by the time we got to the front door, not cold, because we had oh, been well, outside. Well, yeah, it was warm in Slug and Lettuce, and then we stumbled home. Luckily, it wasn't hammering down, so we would have got soaked on that long journey home. It was like walking down a drive. Yeah, like walking from, your, from a taxi to the front door. Yeah. Like normally where a taxi would have dropped you, wouldn't it? To be fair, Isn't it depends it? how long you drive. So we're going to head home now, because it's CG day, babe. It's CG day. Yay. Happy Christian Guzman Day, everybody. Woo! It is February 1st, which means the long-awaited mystery is about to be revealed. What's your thoughts? What's it gonna be? Jeans. Yeah, Charlotte's convinced it's- Turn right onto Park End Street. Then turn See, left. No end of issues. Yeah, I don't know what, which way. This is, this is bizarre. What's bizarre? Up here. What do you mean? Just, the roundabout system yeah. thing, yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, I think it's jeans and denim jackets. Jeans like and lifestyle. denim jackets. Lifestyle jeans. More so than a few t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, because he does lifestyle stuff as it is. But, but he has t-shirts. It's just t-shirts and stuff and, yeah. It's more like, loungewear. Stuff that you can wear every day, but... Mm. Like that grey long sleeve top, I wear that every day use rather than in the gym. Yeah. Charlotte thinks it's denim jackets and denim jeans and all this kind of stuff. I think that's a fairly good shout. However, I believe he has made some sort of platform. Mm -hmm. I think he's made his own version of YouTube, Instagram or whatever. Something where some people that do a similar kind of thing to what he does, what I do and all that kind of stuff can share their 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 stuff, their experiences, you know. Do you want to do what he's just that's what uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea actually, to be fair. But That's what I think it would be. Oh, Jesus. Just go, just go, just go. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, look, a Hummer! Oh, wait, now where am I going? Left. Look, look, look. B17 Hum is the reg. <laughs> but yeah, that is my guess. Either that or the denim thing, because that does make sense. Does I don't think it will be his own platform because they're so such a risk in that whereas if you create a line of jeans it's not a risk yeah yeah and i would i would jump on board if it was if he brought jeans but out. i think if it brings out a platform like you're not guaranteed that's going to do well no i mean you gotta think of christian's following just the sheer reach that he has yeah but that doesn't mean they'd all use it if they yeah using yeah because it's not YouTube, like so. everyone that follows him doesn't want a channel it's like they? dating like, apps everyone yeah. loves tinder but not everyone's going to use bumble because some boys are yeah. absolute pervs and wouldn't want to wait for a girl to message them. I think, is that how Bumble works? Yeah, that's my The energy. girls message the guys? Yeah. That, right. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm a right bloody And you don't get noob. loads of un, un, unappreciated <laughs> This isn't my own experience, by the way. <laughs> no, Most we're, of my neither, friends are single. <laughs> neither of us are, um, are on the dating app hype. We never have been, yeah. have we? Tinder uh, only became popular really when we were at uni and we were already together, weren't yeah. we? So we've never really had it. So to sum up, denim jeans, own platform and uh, Bumble. Yeah. Accurate. Oh my god, imagine. What? Christian Guzman. 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 Christian
pretty good. <laughs> so we got some crispy crems for the journey home. A couple for oh my god, Siri! A couple for ourselves and a couple for mother and father. Oh yeah, ah oh, yeah. You can't see that. I don't care. Well, that's unreal. Oh yeah. Right. We'll see you at home with the CG news. Yeah, can you believe Liam's made me leave Oxford early so that we can get home for six o'clock? Boring, yes. Boring because he works a lot. He works 24 hours, four or five days. This is too big. His ideas are everywhere. So from an outside point, everything that Christian is doing is actually insane. I thought that he was in over his head. We care about him, we love him, we just don't want to see him break or like put too much on himself. Not one, but two new chips, our own hotel, common working lounge spaces, football field, and much, much more. Alphaland represents a culmination of everything we've worked for over the years and truly believe it. An oasis for individuals to come to learn more, dream more, and be more. Because coming together is our beginning. Welcome to Project Alphaland. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, well. 18.5 acres. Were you expecting that? Be, be honest. Let me know in the comments. Were you expecting that? I've actually written this down. Just in case you don't realise how big that actually is. The average house in the UK is on a quarter of an acre and this is 18.5 acres. So there's about 74, 75 houses worth of space to build this alpha land on, right? A football pitch is less than two acres here in the UK. So it's like nine or 10 football pitches, give or take, you know. 18.5 acres is 8,050,860 square feet or 74,866 square meters. And that's just in square meters. Like there's buildings or a building, a big build, I don't know yet. There's buildings on this area. So it's gonna be built up on this like 75 football pitch worth size of, of space. I actually saw someone in the comment section say their guess was that Christian was just gonna buy friggin' Sugarland, and well he may as well have. They obviously live in the area, know where it is, and know exactly how kind of big it is, because it was an existing building. I think he's just bought the building or the buildings. I don't I don't actually know, but let me know what your guesses were in the comment section down below. I think I think my guess was pretty damn close. I mean I guess that uh, he was going to make a platform where people can kind of share their videos, share their ideas and all that kind of stuff. Instead of making a platform, he's just made a place where people can go and do all of those things. Like I assume the hotel, like he'll have the athlete athletes in there and all that kind of stuff and there'll be seminars and so this is kind of what I'm, I'm picturing. Instead of it being a platform where people can share their ideas, like it's a place where people can go to create their ideas, if that makes sense. So I like to think I was pretty close, but let me know what your thoughts on the whole situation is. Um, I'm very excited to see how it unfolds over the next few months. Very, very excited. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your guesses were in the comment section down below. I find it funny when I saw one comment as well where it said, Jim Sharker like, oh, we've got the best gym in the world. And Christian's like, <laughs> hold my 3D. But that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do me a favor, drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new here. We have got some exciting content on the horizon just tomorrow, as of the day you guys are seeing this. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be interviewing, well, not interviewing, having a conversation with the CEO of Body Power. So I'm going to be heading over to Birmingham, heading over to Body Power HQ, and we're gonna have a little chat. So if you have any questions, for me to ask Nick, the CEO. I currently have a questions tab open on my Instagram. So go over there, stick them in there. I'm just gonna scroll through, ask him all the questions along with kind of, you know, the things that are on my mind as well. Um, I'm gonna ask him all the questions and it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a great video. Hopefully you guys can, can get something from it, you know, because I love body power. I want you guys to love body power as much as I do. So hopefully we can, convince you together, you know? So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little Oxford stuff at the start of the video. Thank you once more for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.